Welcome to the Campus News. Today's headlines. Coastal Cleanup Day Celebration Pondicherry University celebrates a Sanskrit day. Seminar in Green Energy Technology Now the news in details. As part of World Coastal Cleanup Day celebration, Pondicherry University, in association with Prime Trust Foundation, undertook a day-long clean-up drive at Oroville Beach on September 15, 2012. The program was inaugurated by the then Vice Chancellor of Pondicherry University, Professor J. A. K. Tharin. After the opening ceremony, hundreds of students collected more than two tons of garbage from Oroville Beach and Calapet Beach. The garbage was later picked up by the Pondicherry Municipality. This day, on the 15th September 2012, is designated as International Coastal Cleanup Day, taken over all over the world in the coastal regions. Essentially meant for spreading the message of keeping our coastal region clean and in a very hospitable manner. And we are very happy to uh, clean all these things and to, aver, uh, to create awareness to the uh, Pondicherry coastal, coastal areas. Professor M. Ramadas, Director of Studies, Librarian Dr. Samyukta, Student Welfare Dean Dr. Nalini J. Thambi also participated in the program along with the students. The Department of Sanskrit, Pondicherry University, observed the Sanskrit Day with a day-long program at the department. Book release and literary competitions were held on the occasion. Two books titled The History of Rama and Vishwa Bharati, authored by the head of the Department of Sanskrit, Dr. C. S. Radhakrishnan, were released on the occasion of Sanskrit Day celebration at the Department of Sanskrit, Pondicherry University. Something related to Rama, and I was wondering there is a kind of a, a strange coincidence rather that all the topics are uh, focused on Rama, and in fact, uh, one of the books which will be released during the deliberations uh, is a six act uh, play in Sanskrit called Padanga Putana, which is again uh, based on Rama. And uh, to top it all, it is being presented over by Sri Vangatrama. As a part of this celebration, an essay and poem competition was also held. The director of NGO, Bharat Gyan, Dr. D. K. Hari, distributed the prizes to the winners of the competition. Later in the day, a documentary film about Rama and Sedu Samutra Bridge was screened. We all know that Rama's birth is celebrated on Sri Rama Naomi, which means that he was born on the ninth day of the lunar month of Chaitra. The Department of Green Energy Technology organized a day-long seminar on September 18, 2012. Mr. Mayan McWilliams, former director Obidra Vide, graced the seminar as a chief guest. He gave a special lecture on renewable energy and mainly focused on how to use sustainable energy in our daily life. The students of the department also expressed their views on renewable energy to campus. We have seen in today's seminar, we have seen all the facts, uh, the generation of the population of the world is increasing day by day. So, in as, uh, aspect of these populations, our water demands, food demands and uh, all these things are exponentially are growing. So to take up all these things parallelly, we have to develop some model where we can fulfill all these kinds of uh, things uh, like the uh, water problems as well as the same times with the food requirements and the energy requirements. Along with the rest of the country, Pondicherry University Fraternity also celebrated the Vinayagar Chaturthi on September 19, 2012. The Vinayagar Temple in the university campus was decked up very colourfully to mark the occasion. From early morning onwards, devotees consisting of students and staff lined up in front of the temple to pay their respects to Lord Vinayagar. 
The temple priest conducted the puja and prasadam was distributed among the devotees. Yoga is one of the six orthodox systems of Hindu philosophy according to Yoga Tattva Upanishad. It was collated, coordinated and systemized by Padanjali in his classical and foundational text Raja Yoga. Apart from the studies, laughter, fun, chat, dance, music and love are also filled in the hostel life of every student. Adding to these facets of hostel life in Pondicherry University is the early morning yoga exercises of Vinod Kumar, a PG student from the Department of English, who turns up every morning in the hostel lawn and teaches yoga to his hostel mates so that they can also enjoy the benefits of yoga. Vinod Kumar has been practicing yoga for the last four years and also has a postgraduate degree in yoga. Vinod Kumar started off with only two hostel mates learning yoga from him. But as the days passed, more students came to know about the morning yoga practice and joined him. Right now, he is teaching yoga to nearly 30 of his hostel mates. Vinod Kumar's trainees have expressed that due to the practice, they have a refreshing and a stress-free day. Yoga not, it is not a physical exercise, it is a physical logic. You have to control for thoughts and minds, organs, whatever you have to face the problem, you have to solve it clearly and humble without intentions and everything. Vinod Kumar is happy that he has been able to do at least something for creating awareness about fitness among his hostel mates and hopes to see more hostelers joining his morning yoga classes. Among the many martial art forms in Tamil culture, Silambam is one of the most famous martial art forms. In this martial art form, the performer uses a long stick. He rotates the stick in all directions, taking hundreds of steps with different styles, each step being unique from each other. During the performance, the performer controls his mind and body to achieve perfection. In Tamil culture, there is 64 kind of art form of which Silambam is one. However, this beautiful art showcasing the perfect harmony of body and mind is dying a slow death. But still, there is a hope for the survival of the art form as attempts are being made by few art enthusiasts to save the art form and take it back to the heights of its pristine glory. As part of this effort, the Department of Performing Arts Pondicherry University is offering a course on Silambam to their students. According to the coordinator of the course, Dr. Ravi Verma, who himself is an accomplished martial artist, the aim of the course is to encourage at least a few students to take up the art seriously and help in the revival of the art form. Silambam Kalai, Marvadiyam, Silavishyang Loda, Uvarang Loda, Makalik, Puru Pairsi Alavula, Kunduvarno, Bingre, Nokatle, Ipo UGC, Kudurigre, Project Le, Manavarilke, Solikutuare. The Silamata on the Nang and Adikana Kana or Alame Valachila on the or Peria Pangoik in an Ambara. Dr. K. Raja Ravi Varma has initiated the attempt out of his own interest and love for the ancient Tamil art form. One can only hope that this attempt of Dr. Ravi Verma will succeed in reviving the art form and Silambam will see its glorious days once gaining. Campbell's wishes Dr. Ravi Verma all the best. That's all for this week. Thank you for being with us.